With warmer weather just around the corner, it's time to start enjoying Chicago's many alfresco dining options, including the world's largest rooftop deck, as recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. Joining us now is Clay Livingston, Beverage Director of Offshore at Navy Pier, with a look at their new cocktail menu. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You guys Absolutely. have some very unique recipes uh, I yes. see on the menu. Yeah, we like to have fun with our drinks and our food. Okay. Um, Get right into the first one, okay. uh, Bad and Bougie. Yes. Ooh, so this me. one is going to be uh, <laughs> featuring some Doucet Cognac. Okay. Ooh, um, that sounds good. Little light tropical uh, drink here. Mm -hmm. uh, to that we're going to mix uh, some prickly pear. Okay. Mm. This is just a syrup. A mm. uh, little lemon juice for some acid. Mm -hmm. And to finish it off, a little passion fruit. Oh, for, is that uh, what liqueur. it is? Liqueur, yes. Okay. All right, so this sounds like it is right up my yeah. alley. As a beverage director, you get to come up with all of these creations. Where do you draw I your do. inspiration from? Um, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, it can be as simple as... Um, actually, the next one we're going to try, I tried a dessert mm. that just happened to have some similar flavors mm -hmm. um, oh. that I thought was really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it comes from different chefs around the city, okay. um, traveling, and just knowing you know different flavors that work well together. Okay. So. Yeah, because it's much like cooking. If this is something that is learned. You have to teach your palate how to, to identify yes, flavors. Exactly. And how things are going to mix together. Yeah. Okay, so you got to fill up this other cup. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> you can just share it. We'll, we'll, Absolutely. We'll put the drink, but yeah. you know, we, 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 we both, both like, like to try, try it. <laughs> All right, so the rooftop deck has been certified as the world's largest. Yes. So um, what does that encompass, that, that rooftop deck? It is uh, 32,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. um, we have a very large interior space yes. um, that is open year round. Okay. And then our very large patio, of course, mm -hmm. where we <coughs> Ooh, serve oh, these. Oh, yes. The oh, we're getting ours. We love it. Yeah. This is yes. so pretty. Such a beautiful space. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so you also have food. We have a brand new spring menu also, um, actually much enlarged uh, from what we've done in the past. That's dangerous. Oh, yes. yum, yum. Yeah, that's really dangerous. Yeah, this is yum, definitely yum. come crush on the patio. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I could get a lot of these down pretty quickly before I realize, oh, I might be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's kind of the idea. Yeah. You had another one for us? Absolutely. So the next one, a um, little bit different flavor um, than a lot of people are going to be used to. We're going to oh, start with some Hendrix gin. Mm -hmm. um, and this one started out as pickles. Pickles. Yes. Pickles. So trying to come up with a way that, you know, people love pickles, people love um, that acidity from the vinegar, the, all the spices. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to come up with a different way to incorporate that into a drink. Okay. okay. Um, so this isn't like uh, biting into a kosher dill pickle. Okay. This is a lot more of just Ooh. the flavors are reminiscent. Okay. Um, so I've made a syrup with pickling spice. Oh. Um, the Hendrix, of course, has uh, cucumber and rose in it. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're mixing a couple of those ingredients and then finishing with a little champagne vinegar. So is that a rose water? Uh, this is champagne vinegar. Oh, champagne vinegar. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, which <laughs> gives it that acidity yeah. that you get mm -hmm. from a pickle. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we'll see what you're working with here. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I first look at that, I was like, oh, pickle, huh? It's like a pickle martini. Okay. But I think it's probably a little bit more refined than that. Yeah, not exactly uh, pickleback. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but along that, you know, same flavors so that you'll you, get out of that. So on the, do on the deck match? drinks with um, different types of uh, uh, offerings that you have, food offerings and such? We definitely try and work with our chef um, mm -hmm. when we're coming up with these drinks. Mm -hmm. um, we'll use a lot of the same, not maybe ingredients, but flavor profiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and with that this... Very sweet. Is that dill? Yes. This is dill. Okay. What would be a pickle without dill, right? Oh, yeah. Spank, spank it. it. Do the Little mint. spank. Yeah, spank it like Bring the out the, uh, the aromas. Aroma. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. There you go. Looks kind of festive, too. Okay. All right. Ooh, we, there this, we go. Oh, I love these Little glasses. sampler. Um, I smell the pickle. Yeah, so the dill on the nose, so it, the vinegar doesn't yes. overpower the nose. No, this is really good. It is. I'm like, wait a second. I kind of like yes. that. I do, yes. yes. That's the reaction of most people. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I was, I was 
suspect of this All one. All right, so offshore, located at the east end of Navy Pier. Pretty much as far as you can go. Okay, and so you're open year round because you have the indoor space as well as the outdoor space. Is the outdoor space open yet? Um, so you're more than welcome to go out there right now. Um, our kind of shooting for Derby Day. Okay. Um, well, tomorrow's going to be 80 something degrees. So right. I imagine people so are going to be out there. We'll definitely have parts of it open. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. All right.